So inside this bag is a whole bunch of awesome Barbie dolls that I found while out thrifting. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So the first doll that I got was this Barbie Fairytopia Alina doll from, I believe, 2005 with light up wings. I already tried the battery here in the back and they don't work, but I am going to see if I can replace those and if they will work. I didn't realize it at the time, but her hair has been cut. <laughs> She's got a little bit of dirt on her wings and on her body, but she is still in decent condition. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't notice her hair was cut, so we're gonna see what we can do about this. Next up, I found this 2003 Posh Pets Barbie. From the articulation, I was kind of hoping she was a doll from the I Can Be line, but she wasn't. Her hair is really nice. It's blended between two different types of blondes. She's in pretty good condition, and I thought she was a really pretty Barbie. I also found this 2008 Candy Glam Summer Doll. I actually don't have a summer doll in my collection, so I was super excited when I came across her. She's also in amazing condition. I love her sparkly eyeshadow and those green eyes. I found this Barbie doll. I know she is a more recent one, but I haven't actually taken the time to ID which one she is. So if you guys happen to know, please let me know in the comments. Her eyeshadow is a little messed up here on the sides and her hair is really tangly. This is the 2012 Life in the Dreamhouse Ken doll. I definitely got him for his articulation. You hardly ever see Kens with articulation like this. His face looks kind of weird. I think his hair just came like this, but it looks kind of odd. And last of all, I found this Barbie. I also haven't been able to ID her, but she has really long hair. So I was thinking maybe she was one of those like hair dyeing dolls, but she's really pretty. And she did remind me of a lot of the dolls that I had when I was little. I also found this little Barbie kitchen for just $3. I thought it was super cute and I can really see myself using this in the future. It's pretty much in perfect condition minus the big number three that they drew on here. I really hope all the chalk or whatever they put on comes off the dolls. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start by giving these dolls all a nice soak in hot, soapy water. There's a slight issue, and that is that my dorm sink will not plug up with hot, soapy water like I usually do, so I'm gonna have to think outside the box here by using a trash can. I feel like this was bad idea number one today. Soap in there, and uh, yeah. Okay, well, now that I put this stupid trash can in here, I can't get it out of the does not have to water. That was a bad idea. Let's start with Alina. all the dolls off but there are a couple of spots on them that didn't come off so I'm gonna be using some rubbing alcohol to see if I can remove that oh yeah just like magic seriously want to know who's responsible for drawing a big orange marker all over this doll's precious face. Do you have any idea how hard that is to get off? Seriously, I've been scrubbing for like five minutes and even on her chest it won't come off. Seriously, who does that? This girl looks like a Cheeto. So I tried Dawn soap and the rubbing alcohol and I couldn't completely get rid of the orange, but it certainly looks better than it did. I am a little mad about that, but I suppose it's not the worst it could be. These dolls are just gonna have to look like they came out of a pit full of Cheetos. But now that they're all cleaned up, next I'm gonna have to wash some of their hair out with shampoo and conditioner. Hers is really bad. And Alina's, well, I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna do about that. brush all of these dolls hair. My room is gonna be covered with so much doll hair, it won't even be funny. 
I seriously was not kidding about the hair. A uh, slight issue. So I was brushing out one of the doll's hair when her head came off. Yikes. I don't even know how that happened because that didn't look loose. Um, that hasn't happened in a while. So her peg thing came out of her head and I don't know if I can get this back in her body. Um, I guess that'll be all we're gonna do for now. All of these dolls are looking really great, except for Alina. As you can tell, her hair has this hump in it, and I really need to see if I can fix that. Now, a good old method that I've been using to fix doll hair like this since I was seven is to grab a Barbie hat, put it on your doll's head to flatten it, and then sometimes it doesn't want to stay, so I always put a ponytail over it. I'll probably leave it like this for a day or so, and we'll see if it can help flatten that out here in the back. Meanwhile, I also wanted to check and see what batteries that she uses. There's literally no telling how long these batteries have been in here. I do believe she's from 2005, so very well, she's as old as I am. All right, ew, I hate the corroded batteries in there. So let me see if I can even get these out. Oh, yikes. Okay, so I got those out and I'm gonna have to see if I can find these either online or in a store. These are also like covered in corrosive stuff and always be careful with those because they can actually burn you as I learned last week on another project. I just now realized this after looking her up, but somebody actually cut off parts of her wings. She did have like this white part all around it and now she doesn't. I really want to know who had this doll before I did. <laughs> Alright guys, so I ordered some batteries off of Amazon and I think that they're the correct size, so we're gonna go ahead and find out. It'll be pretty disappointing if I came all this way and this doesn't even work. Let's see. Uh, which direction do we put these in here? Just a moment. All right, all right, negative end on the spring. You figured out that I have no idea what I'm doing yet? Um, I feel like that's the wrong way. All right, I think I got them in there the right way, so let's see if the wings will work. And they don't. Oh my gosh, they do work. I just put the stupid batteries in there wrong. Look at this. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, imagine this in the dark though. Why well, imagine me just locking myself in the dorm bathroom in the dark. How cool is that? Just don't make toys like they used to. Now that I've got her wings fixed, all we have left is the hair. So the hat kind of fell off a little bit ago. She is looking good though. Her hair is a lot more flattened. So I think I'll just style it. Now all that's left to do is find her a cute outfit along with all the other dolls. And actually I do have this Fairytopia skirt here. I got it a few years ago at a yard sale and I'm not for sure which doll comes with it, but I do know it's from the Fairytopia doll line. So I think we're gonna give it to Alina here. Look at it, it matches perfectly. And ta-da! Here is all the dolls we rescued and they've all been fixed up and are now as good as new. I know we lost a head and a lot of hair, but through all those mishaps, it worked out for the better. You know, I can't even choose who my favorite doll is because I love them all so much. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments which makeover was your favorite and if you have any of these dolls in your collection. And as always, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And also let me know down in the comments if you want to see more Barbie thrift store finds with me. Bye guys, thank you so so much for watching.